Say hi to everyone, Thrall. Say hi. <laughs> hello, he said hello. Did you hear it? Good. Okay, good boy. Give me just a few minutes. I have a pizza in the oven. I did get a couple things done today. I did get a little bit of sleep, about three hours worth. Not much for three days, but some. I had a very stressful dream. My dreams are very real. They're always very real. And it was very stressful. There was conflict going on and I kept saying I don't give an F. I don't give an F. I don't give an F through the whole dream and I woke up kind of stressed and my brother had called. He calls with these ideas. It would be neat invention if you this or this and it's already an invention. Or, you should do this for your vlog and it's already been done a hundred times but I talked to him for a little while and then I hung up and I felt even worse oh god I had a movie from the library called The Intouchable and so I thought well heck I'll watch it, it I have to return it anyway so I watched it it's a true account it's a French movie with English subtitles of a man a rich man who's paralyzed from the neck down and they're looking for a caregiver for this guy and they have all these guys with, you know, lined up and being interviewed and this big black burly guy is out waiting also and he kind of barging in because he basically he's there to get a signature on a piece of paper saying that he's tried for all these jobs and they won't hire him so he can get uh, you know welfare but they decide to hire him and they're not sure if it's going to work. And his street smarts and the other guy's extreme classy etiquette and all that, and the music, classical music and art taste and all that, they rub off on each other. And it becomes a very nice friendship. And, and it's a very lovely movie. I recommend it highly. I ended up feeling much better after watching it. I thought, well, what shall I have for supper? So I went to the refrigerator, and it was a mess. There was a peach in there, it was all wrinkled and moldy. I, I mean to eat these things, but I just, I don't normally eat them, so I just don't normally have a taste for them, so they stay in the fridge. So I cleaned up the fridge. And then I thought, well, I'll go to the pantry and look in there and see what's there. And it was a mess, so I straightened up the pantry. I consolidated a lot of things and uh, threw away a lot of stuff, and outdated stuff. And then I thought, well, what the heck? I'm, while I'm at it, I'll do the spices over the stove. And I have the spices arranged, uh, the baking spices on one side, like cinnamon and vanilla and all that, cream of tartar and cloves, and, and then all the savory stuff on the other side, like the spicy stuff, the cumin, the, you know, the rosemary and oregano and all that stuff. So I did that. I made a frozen pizza for dinner, and Thrall and I had that. And I don't normally drink beer or anything, but... I'm having one now. My arm, I don't know if you can tell, but it's really red and itchy, and I've been spraying it with, this is rubbing alcohol in here. I spray it, and it only burns for a few seconds, and it stops it from itching for a while. And now it's on a new spot on my upper arm. Man, it better not go anywhere else, I can tell you that right now. But I've been pretty stressed. Yes, I have. This court thing that I got coming up the day before I leave for Canada. <laughs> I have emailed some lawyers. No one has contacted me back in any way, shape, or form. Tomorrow I'm going to have to get on the phone again and try to find somebody. i just really upset about it. There's some other couple other things i got to do. But, you know, I do feel better after I clean something. I've been meaning to clean my room. It's not really messy. It's just dusty. 
and it needs vacuumed again. I know after I do that I will feel better, especially if I use lavender scented cleaning stuff. You know, something that smells halfway decent. So, that's part of my what I'm going to do tomorrow. I really didn't get much done around here. I stayed in the house and I was pretty depressed, but uh, yeah, you got to keep busy, I guess. And, uh, yep. So the cat is he's sleeping on a chair over there. <laughs> what else is there to say? Not a whole lot. So I guess I'll see you tomorrow. Upward and onward.